I do not have enough air in my lungs to recreate the deep belly laugh that I emitted when I first read this headline because it was the most obvious thing on the face of the earth you'd expect to CNN plus okay the old joke was because CNN the only reason CNN actually gets viewers is because it's on in every fucking airport outside of that nobody gives a shit about this dying dead fucking failure of a platform any longer it sold its soul for ratings okay to just be the trump hater network a long fucking time ago they have jettisoned their uh, journalistic responsibility and anybody who is still around to watch this fucking decrepit decaying fucking cesspool of child molesters if they thought that the, uh, a those people were going to be young enough to know how to navigate an online streaming service or b dumb enough to depart with any of their remaining funds was horrifiably mistaken well i guess old snoopy dog chris wallace isn't quite as big of a ratings draw as you anticipated because we all knew this was gonna fall and be a tremendous fucking failure but nobody could have predicted how awful it was so let's all have a laugh and then also in the grand scheme of things there is it, it's getting to a point with streaming services where okay they were supposed to be an alternative to cable channels right to just traditional television okay it was supposed to be a remedy to those expensive television packages where you could just pick and choose what you want but now it's getting to a point where everybody has their own exclusive platforms and you got to pay five dollars for this platform you got to pay ten dollars for this platform you can just live without paramount plus because who gives a fuck about that or you got the peacock that's over there which unless you just like old fucking fed tapes and nobody's watching that dog shit but everybody has their own platforms and is just recreated in the digital space the same shit that people were getting away from 10 or 15 years ago cut the cord because it's so expensive and now you take a look at your fucking bank statement at the end of the month and if you just sit there and you're one of those consumers you have like what five six Six, seven streaming services i don't even know how many the average person has okay i don't have a single active subscription that's not a fucking flex or anything like that it's just i don't like the content that's being put out by and large i think all of these streaming platforms are fucking garbage i think the best content is being put out on youtube by actual people and not these stuffed suit jackets that just read nonsense off of a teleprompter written by some fucking pink haired gender studies major with an undergrad in journalism i could give a fuck what their opinions are because i know what they're going to be okay it's just going to be pushing grooming ideology and then having the worst takes on literally fucking everything and that's why ten thousand people signed up to cnn plus because why would you bother paying for a fucking a, a six inch pipe of sewage to be put into your own fucking house this is dumb as dog shit even though executives i remember covering this at the time when they announced this oh we're gonna see two million subscribers in our first year here's ten thousand fucking oof that's a cataclysmic oof that is a yikes coming down from the sky and piercing the atmosphere at fucking terminal velocity it's an l that you'd have to carry with a fucking dump truck but let's get into the facts now shall we cnn plus is facing possible big cuts you don't say after the streaming service i uh, just i don't know fucking splattered on the floor like a six month or six week pregnancy fucking scoop it up and throw it in the toilet and go bye bye flushy two weeks following the march 29th start only 10,000 people are using cnn plus <laughs> couldn't happen to nicer people on a daily basis sources familiar with the matter told cnbc.com who are like really <laughs> fucking really like, we see the peacock numbers and they're not a whole hell of a lot better but seriously 10,000 fucking people uh the reportedly low numbers have led the news company to cut hundreds of millions from their original projected one billion dollar investment over the next four years oh axios reported the ten thousand daily users fall short the original subscription expectations which sought to bring in around two million subscribers in the united states in the first year and 15 to 18 million <laughs> over four years it's gonna take you 15 to 18 decades to bring in two million subscribers you fucking 
adults. CNN has not officially released its numbers, and they're not likely to. They're just going to tell you how great CNN Plus is, and they're going to have Chris Wallace r uh, warble some fucking centrist talking point with some other idiot across a soundstage, and nobody's going to give a fuck about it, okay? Maybe just hire back the Cuomo brothers to talk about who has the best tits on fucking staff. You got to do something. But here's somebody who's coping super fucking hard. Matt Dornick? Well, for the record, we are very happy with the launch of CNN Plus and are only bracing for a long run of success. That is, um astronomic levels of cope. Former Warner CEO Jason Kalar launched CNN Plus just two weeks before the company merged with Discovery, who's probably not going to be all that happy with this and realizes that, yeah, we're going to have to eventually at some point or another turn a fucking profit and the first thing to go is this decrepit disaster of a network. But who's going to buy it at this point if only 10,000 people want to sign up for your $6 a month platform? Oh, and you're giving you such a deal. Oh, you can have free Two, two months free if you sign up for an annual subscription. At this rate, it won't be around for a year, so hopefully uh, you get fucking refunds and it's not run by, and the uh, yeah, financial department isn't run by Bernie Sanders. It's not clear what incoming CNN chief Chris Litch will decide to do with the streaming service amid the news of weak subscriptions once he joins Warner Brothers Discovery. On May 1st, Axio reported, but he was seen sharpening an ax and putting on a black hood with two little holes. And I don't know what that could possibly mean or just lead to in the future. Despite reports, a spokesperson for CNN said the news network, oh, a spokesperson from Pravda said that the news network is satisfied with streaming service and you can believe him because he has a blue check mark. CNN uh, Plus launched last month Okay, didn't know that. With a base price of five dollars or six dollars a month, sorry, five ninety nine or sixty dollars a month for an annual subscription. Subscribers who signed up in the first four weeks were eligible for half off of the regular monthly price for life. Oh, oh, okay. So it's even worse because that was with the numbers that came out were within that range that was there, and they're only paying three dollars a month or. or $30 a year, and I don't see anybody else hopping on the bandwagon, so, oof, fucking quantum oof. But that's all right, CNN called it a deal of a lifetime, a very short lifetime. Fuck, it's kind of like your network has progeria lifetime. After the promotion ends, CNN's monthly base price will be the same as rival Fox News established uh, streaming service Fox Nation. Oh, I've heard of that one. Fox Nation became a streaming service in 2018. So CNN right on the heels of techno er, yeah, technological cutting edge, right? <laughs> CNN, a division of AT&T Warner Media, invested a reported $120 million in CNN Plus and recruited top talent. Top is a very, very interesting um, descriptor to use, including Fox News veter or veteran Chris Wallace, who said, Oh, well, Fox is not a place I want to live anymore or work anymore. It's become an untenable. Actress Eva Longoria. What does she do? And Alison Roman, a former New York Times food writer fired by bosses at the paper for criticizing shame social media star Chrissy Teigen. Okay, so she didn't do anything wrong. And Eva Longoria? What is she going to talk about? Fucking Hall of Fame point guards? Like, what are, we, what are we doing here? And I don't know why you'd hire somebody who cooks seemingly nice, pe or nice pieces of salmon. I'm just going to go ahead and try to go off of that picture that's there, but it's, you'd pay her to do something that literally thousands of people on YouTube do every single day for fucking free. But whatever, I don't run a er, multi-million dollar, $120 million project straight into the fucking ground at record speed. And N Plus features live daily news programming, original series, true crime shows. It it's supposed to be aimed at women, and they don't give a fuck about this. And food and travel docuseries. Nothing like CNN Plus exists. Yeah, it, uh, no, I, I beg to differ, but you guys know better. You were the ones who prognosticated 2 million subscribers and just, just came up a little short, a little short. There's no news and nonfiction streaming uh, subscriptions offering available today, and only CNN can create and deliver a global news product with the kind of value to consumers. It's just unfortunate that nobody else picked up on it claimed CNN Plus boss Andrew Morse in a statement last month. We're thrilled to offer CNN Plus's world-class journalism. What? Oh, maybe that's what Eva Longoria is going to do. She's going to be a journalist. Uh, premium storytelling. No, I thought it was nonfiction. And interview club platform at an attractive price. To be fair, it's a good price. It's just a shit product. And um, 
you could say that it's an attractive price, but it's only attractive to those who are going to pay it. So because you think you're a nine and in, in real life, you're actually a four. You can say how attractive it is all you want, but if nobody's buying the line of bullshit that you're selling, that's going to be tough. But yeah, this is what I mean. It's like, there's so many streaming platforms out there. Okay. What they were purporting to do in the beginning, these streaming platforms themselves, they were supposed to be the alternative to cable news. After you had your different bundles that were running up in costs. It's like a, a satellite television subscription service. Like I, I st uh, up here in Canada, I, I might be dating myself here for a moment, but whatever. I'm 32. You guys probably know this as well. You had like star choice and bell and, um, what was it? Northern Cable Vision, all that kind of fucking fun stuff. Your your local affiliate. Okay, you'd have your different packages. You'd have your base packages with your CTV, CBC, and uh, maybe TSN was on there. But then you could have the the sports package or the movie package or the kids entertainment or the the luxury sports packages. So it's like eventually, at one point or another, you got enough of the stuff. You were looking at what, like a hundred, hundred and twenty dollars a month for a bunch of channels that you didn't watch watching it you just had to sit around and wait and hope that they'd put on something that you'd want to watch and then the alternative was supposed to be the netflix once they got out of the dvd rental game you remember that they used to send out like actual physical media that was a minute ago and then hulu who is like oh, okay cool there's other shows that netflix isn't putting up there okay cool we have our little niche that's here and then amazon prime video because bezos wasn't getting any pussy at home so he decided to make his own streaming platform it's like okay cool it's getting a little uh, crowded in here and then apple tv is like oh we need to do you know tap into the chinese market so anybody else like a, a slave Leak looking white box to sit underneath their television for 120 fucking bucks or some dumb shit like that it'll look nice though and it's it's good because it's got the apple on it paramount plus formerly cbs at all access just goes to show you you have to rebrand a platform and paywall off a whole bunch of shit that nobody wanted to watch to begin with like mtv in 2022 comedy central I was going to say, don't make me laugh. And they've been doing that for over a decade. VH1, which again, MTV VH1. It's like, okay, cool. You guys were founded on, uh, you know, showing music, which even modern day music sucks a fat dick. And then you haven't shown anything even in regards to music within what? 15, 20 years at this point. BET. Come on now. That one's too easy. And then Nickelodeon. How many reruns of SpongeBob do you really want to watch? Let's be fucking fair. And Disney Plus. Like, come on. Uh, yeah. Peacock. Yeah. NBC Classic. It's like, yeah, cool. You can go back and you can watch old episodes of Star Trek, the original series. Awesome. And then HBO Max. It's like, that's nice. I got my uh, Sopranos box set and everything else is shit. So whatever. You can go back and try to pretend that Game of Thrones was ever tolerable. Have fun with that. But the market is so fucking crowded. And then, like it says earlier in the article, it's like, okay, Fox News has their own platform. That's nice. You have all of these news cable sites, okay? Which I'm sure if you could just go ahead and you scroll underneath this video, if you're watching on YouTube, they're going to be linking out to some mainstream media outlet anyways. So that's why their streaming platform was fucking retarded because they get preferential treatment on YouTube, okay? Through the search algorithms on Google or the recently outed DuckDuckGo who manipulates their algorithm because we stand with Ukraine. Fuck off. But I don't know what it's going to be. I think it, we're we're probably heading for a digital subscription service collapse at one point or another because all of these, as you can see, this is just a small sample size of everything that's out there because I know that there's, uh, what is it, like, like Twitch does some stuff, but that's different. And then YouTube has, they had their own originals, right? Like they could have been on there because they got the, or is it still called, oh no, it's not called YouTube Red in the States anymore. Yeah, YouTube Premium. That's out there, okay? You got crunchy roll for the weebs, okay? And we got to hit critical mass at one point or another, so. Long and short of it, there was never going to be room for CNN, okay? Most of the people who watch CNN, okay? Most of the people who aren't 75 fucking years old and still wonder when Larry King Live is going to come on, they're watching, unfortunately, they're watching the clips on YouTube, okay? They get their little... A 90 second news hit and then they just run with that because they think that i'm informed i watch cnn that's why they're like at least in the top 20 when it comes to subscriptions which mean absolutely fuck all at a certain point 
But yeah, no, uh, this was never a smart decision for CNN. They thought it was. They thought that they could be the next streaming platform where they were just going to go ahead and they were going to offer something different. But then they realized that the people that they hired aren't that different at all. Okay. And they aren't that talented, which makes them perfect for today's mundane milk toast society of fucking midwit idiots and they're fine they're fine not paying for the stuff that they barely pay attention to anyways but with all that said thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo i want you to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone